well, new for the CLA in general is the 35 model. And with the 2020 models comes the AMG driver unit where you get the configurable buttons on the steering wheel, touch pads, all your cruise control functionality is all present, easily reached with your fingers without having to remove your hands from the steering wheel. Of course, the CLA 35 now gets the touch screen and the whole host of MBUX uh, AI, which I think is some of the best AI featured anywhere in the, certainly automotive space, but maybe in just the AI space in general. Nice little synthetic exhaust noise. I don't know how much of that is authentic, but it uh, doesn't sound bad. We're going to just hop on the 5 here and head north a little bit. Wonderful test loop that we do for our AMG clients that I'm going to bring you along on in the CLA 35. Uh, we've got a short stand on the highway. We go. Um, some of the roughest highway here in, in the area. Really bumpy and loud, but as soon as we get on 205, it cleans up a lot, much quieter. Nice high speed, kind of swooping on ramp. Really precise steering. It's, uh, so this car doesn't have the dynamic suspension and I can, I can sense it going through those mid-corner bumps. It did upset the chassis a little bit, but gosh, I was only by 30-40% throttle opening and it, I, I, I'll say that the suspension is, as I've already identified, a, a weak point on the car. I think if I were to do this car already, I, I, I would offer the, the AG dynamic suspension. Uh, it's probably good under most circumstances, but the expansion cracks and the, those mid-corner bumps did upset the chassis a little bit and that'd be unnerving on track or if you were trying to bomb a canyon or run with the boys so this is this this might be an area for improvement and luckily AMG allows us that improvement through the optional AMG dynamic suspension package stuck in some traffic here it's this is a this is a wonderful car this is not bad excellent passing power really precise steering I'm blown away by the steering so far on this car once we get into the back back roads here, I think it's going to be even better, but it's just a really light car and you can feel that through the steering rack. That lane change was amazing. The turn in on that on-ramp was, caught me off guard. Got a little close to the wall, right? A little, looking at the camera. As I, I'm, it's just, it's, it's like our bigger cars, but smaller, if that makes any sense. I mean, the, the screens are, it's still the flat one panel screen, uh, but it's just a touch smaller that it, it fits the proportions of the car. The fit and finish here is, again, this is the first time I've driven a CLA 35 and the fit and finish here is amazing. The touch pad, the haptics on the touch pad are, are perfect. It warrants mentioning we're, we're with a AMG derived seven speed dual clutch transmission. It's hard in second. Car and we're in comfort mode and it, uh, there's no lack of throttle response. It seems to be much more adaptive to your driving style than the C300s or C even the C43s or the C63 I was driving last night in comfort mode. It, you, you really had to tell it to go in comfort mode. Sport Plus, of course, tunes all that out. But here we are in comfort and I, I got no delay in throttle response. Of course, the steering wheel is perfect a little bit smaller than some of the bigger cars but the perforated leather the, the thumb holds it, I mean it just fits perfectly in your hand um, you may feel one way or the other about all the buttons on the steering wheel but I think that AMG really and, and Mercedes Benz in general but, but AMG specifically with the drive unit and the flat bottom steering wheel the, the spokes on the, the bottom here I think AMG really has the steering wheel game dialed in. Sport. I mean, that the animations are amazing. I mean, who, who else has a screen that's as crisp as this, as high definition as this? This is just remarkable. What's this? Dude? Oh. So here we 
we have PSI, temperature, uh, steering angle. Yeah, I'm still short shifting this thing as it's a brand new car, but it's uh, really crisp on the up and down shift. Uh, fun to drive. It feels really light compared to anything else in our range. It feels really light. 302 horsepower, it certainly doesn't feel underpowered. Uh, there's plenty to just have a little bit of fun in the gaps of traffic. This is... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm impressed. This is a fun car to drive. and It's comfortable. It's certainly tight, but as a lot of you know, my track car is an S2000, so if you want to talk about a tight, small car, Ron will attest to this. There's, there's hardly room to breathe in that. We are getting into a little bit more of the fun stuff. Let's uh, see how this chassis feels. side of the car. I'll talk about some of the features I like there. So what we have here, you guys, is the brand new 2020 CLA 45. I think much improved. Not only, I can say this now, not only in design, but the chassis. This thing feels like a more, com just a, a more comprehensive car. The CLA 45 was really dynamic, fun to drive, very precise. The 35 we have featured here, obviously a lot less power, but it's it feels so much more complete inside. It's a more luxurious car, and and uh, and I think I would be happier in the CLA 35 commuting every day, a fun spirited commuter, um, than I would in the CLA 45. The CLA 45 is, like I said, super dynamic on track, fun to drive, but it's like it's on or off. And you have to be ready to drive that car. It's a hand-built car in every essence. And I think the CLA 45 to follow this is going to be a lot like that in that regard. But you're going to have the luxury of this car. So I, well, well improved chassis from MBUSA and, and Mercedes-Benz. Um, but uh, let's do a quick walk around. Some things that are different. We've, we've got these aero flicks here that I think I'm, I'm really drawn to. Um, but it, it, we're just we're managing air. The finishing, it's just a, it's a much higher end, right? The splitter across the front, obviously, this one with the night package, I think looks wonderful. Um, AMG badging in the single blade grille. Uh, Multi-beam LEDs, of course. Uh, the new lighting packages on our cars, it's just not overlooked. Um, and then the, the multi-spoke AMG wheels look great. Huge calipers for such a small car. This thing will have no problem uh, pulling you down. Of course, the side badges. Um, it is an inline four, two liter inline four with a single turbo. Uh, coming around the back, um, new for the 35s are these oval exhaust pipes, right? So the 35s, the 53s now, all have oval uh, pipes as you'll see on the CLA 35, it's just single exit, and then a giant splitter. Check that the oh, diffuser. Look at the diffuse. The size of the diffuser blades on this thing is just really cool looking. So it, you pull back on it, and you just get this this tight coupe kind of rear end. I think it I think it looks looks pretty dynamic. But uh, and then the color. One of my favorite colors on modern Mercedes. I've always driven gold cars, so I'm kind of preferable preferable to it. I'm favorable to it, but. I think it uh, I think it communicates well on these cars, specifically with the night package. Just back from driving the CLA 35, and and I can tell you, uh, I'm pretty impressed. This car is as dynamic as I would have hoped it was, but but even more than that, like it was, it's a uh, super. It's a CLA. 
but it, it's really luxurious, right? I mean, it's a, it's a car that you can drive every day. I'm probably beating this up, but not only can you drive it every day, but it's going to merge well. It's going to fit in a lane. It's going to fit in a tra- uh, parking spot, and it just boogies. I think, you know, we were talking about it, Ron. I think it's got to be somewhere 3,400 pounds. Give me a plus or minus 100 pounds there, and I think we're at about 3,400 pounds on the car with 302 horsepower. It's got all the power. I mean, it, it gets up and goes, and puts it to all four corners so you know it's going to hook up rain or shine um, as this did it it cuts a corner really well um, the steering is I, I think if i had to pick one thing that surprised me most about this car it was the steering the steering was so precise turn in was so precise that it, it really surprised me it would uh you know typical front engine car a little bit of under understeer but um it's just it was an amazing car and then it, Last the night package here gets you the the black backgrounds on the multi-spoke wheels, the extended side sill diffusers. I think a nice touch. Obviously, back black mirror caps and black lamellas around the window. Um, of course, AMG badging throughout. Just a handsome, cool little car. I, I don't know what else I can say about it, but it's. Um, I don't think this one's gonna last. It's the first one we've got. It's the only one we've got. Um, so if you're interested. Come down and see us. We'll go for a spin. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and and uh, we'll see what pops up next week. Thanks, you guys. Hey, Gami. <laughs> hey, wave.